Hello and welcome! I'm Norvigikus and this is my let's play of Pokemon Stadium 1. This will be episode 3 of our let's play of Stadium. And this let's play of Stadium is being played simultaneously with my Pokemon Yellow playthrough. So we will at some point use our Pokemon Yellow team in Pokemon Stadium, but Unfortunately, they are not strong enough to do that just yet. Um, I did say in one of the previous Pokemon Stadium videos that if we could go, or that we could go into um, into the Gym Leader Castle and battle in there, even though we even we didn't have Pokemon at level 50 yet. But that is actually wrong. I looked it up, and it seems like if you well, you you can enter the uh, the Gym Leader Castle before hitting level 50 with your Pokemon from your cartridge. But if you do, all of the trainers and Gym Leaders in the Gym Leader Castle will have level 50 Pokemon, even if you don't yet. And as soon as you hit level 50, they will just keep following your levels. So say if you have Pokemon at level 52 or your strongest Pokemon on your team is level 52, then they all will have level 52 Pokemon, all of them. So we should probably do the Gym Leader Castle after hitting level 50 and when all of our Pokemon have the same level more or less. I mean, one or two levels might not be such a huge difference, um, but right now our Pokemon aren't even level 50 yet, so they will have like 10 levels uh, on us, which is not very good. But today we're going to the stadium again, because there is another cup we can do. I have prepared a team, again, borrowing a lot of Pokemon from my Pokemon Red save. Uh, and today we are going to conquer the Pika Cup. And depending on how long it takes to do the first four battles, I might do the, all the eight battles in one episode, but I don't know yet. Let's just see how long it takes. So this cup has Pokemon at level 15 to 20 as uh, their options. And all the Pokemon available for this cup can only be Pokemon R uh, that are available at those levels in the games. Um, and there are some workarounds on that. You can um, trade Pokemon with NPCs in the games. You can uh, switch or you can uh, trade back and forth with Gen 2 games to get some of the Pokemon to level 15 and or between 15 and 20. Uh, so there are some differences. And there are some differences between the games, uh, between yellow and red and blue and green and stuff. And uh, I can uh, link the uh, different um, Pokemon are available, the Bulbapedia page that lists all the available Pokemon and how to get them for the cups um, on the video if you want to check that out. But there are a lot of Pokemon available for this cup, uh, and not all of the Pokemon that are available are available as rentals, so it doesn't necessarily have to be rentals to be available for this cup. And of course, uh, legendaries like Mew and Mewtwo are banned from this cup, but I don't know if you could even get Mew or Mewtwo at level 15 to 20, maybe if you glitched, um, but they are banned anyway. But this is the cup we're going to do today, uh, the Pika Cup, and as usual I have already uh, picked out a team and registered them. Let's have a look at them, shall we? So this is a team that we are going to go through, or use to go through the Pika Cup. They are very diverse, and all of them, except for the Chansey, are from my red game. Uh, because the Chansey I had to catch in yellow. And if you remember back to the um, episode where I went into the Safari Zone, I said that I was going to uh, go catch a secret Pokémon, and that was Chansey. I was actually very lucky. I thought I would have to go back and forth into the Safari Zone a lot of times, but I was actually able to get a uh, Chansey fairly quick. And if you're wondering about the names, of course, all the names are from Greek mythology, as usual. We have Hypnos, which is the personification and god of sleep. And he's also the father of Morpheus, which was the name of her Abra. And originally, I thought of having a, um, a an Alakazam on our team named Hypnos instead. But I just wanted to do something different, and I wanted to use a, uh, an Exeggutor instead. And I actually had an Exeggutor... Um, at level 16, I think it was. So I just leveled him up once to use in the team. And then we have Astrup, uh, which is the personification and goddess of lightning. Then we have, uh, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but it, I think it's Skilla? Skilla, maybe. Uh, 
Anyway, that's actually a sea monster uh, with some snaky necks and stuff, and I thought it was fitting for a Lapras. It's a female, female sea monster according to Greek mythology. Then we have Aklis, which uh, uh, I thought of something that had to do with poison, uh, and Aklis is actually a, a, a goddess uh, referring to poisons and sorrow and misery as well, apparently. But um, I didn't realize until after that Aklis was actually a goddess, so you know. Uh, Nido King, Goddess, yeah, doesn't really matter to me. Then we have Cerberus, which shouldn't really be explained. It's the um, the Hellhound uh, outside of Hades's uh, lair, I guess. He's uh, kind of a Hades' dog, the Hellhound. And then we have Gaia, which is uh, the personification of Mother Earth, uh, which was fitting for Chansey, I thought. So this is the team we are going for, yes. First up is a bug boy, apparently, for battle one. He's gonna be easy. Oh. He's a bug boy, but he has uh, non bugs as well. Ekans and Nido Rena are not bugs. But all of them, except for Paris, are poison types as well. So it looks like uh, a very good battle for a psychic type. Unfortunately, though, our psychic type happens to be a uh, grass type as well. And uh, Executor isn't particularly fast, unfortunately. Um, but let's take a look at our team, why don't we? Let's start with Hypnos, actually. So Hypnos, our Executor, has a Psychic, Solar Beam, Substitute, and Mega Drain. So Solar Beam is the strongest grass, t uh, grass move I can get on a grass type in Gen 1. I would have liked to have Leech Seed, but unfortunately uh, Executor can't learn it. But ex uh, Execute can, only can learn it only after level 20, so it wouldn't be able to learn it for this cup, unfortunately. Yeah, and you might notice that most of the, or I think actually all of the moves I have on my team are TMs, because uh, they can't reliably learn any good moves um, for level 20 or 15 to 20, so yeah, this cup is kind of weird like that. Uh, then we have uh, Aklis, the Nido King, with Body Slam, Rock Slide, Earthquake, and Toxic. Toxic is not a good move in Gen 1, but it's just to fill out something. Um, poison types got the short end of the stick in Gen 1, because they can't really learn any good poison type moves. Um, I mean, Poison Sting is probably the best move that the Nido line can learn, I think. Um, sludge, uh, or sludge Bomb didn't exist, uh, didn't exist yet until Gen 2, so... And then we have a Raichu with Thunderbolt, Thunder Wave, Reflect, and Double Team. I'm probably not going to use Double Team uh, at all. It's just to have something on the moveset that was decent, because uh, Raichu doesn't have the best moveset. And then we have the Arcanine with Dig, Fire Blast, because again, they can't learn uh, Flamethrower until very late, uh, so wouldn't be able to use that in this cup, unfortunately. And then Body Slam and Dragon Rage, <laughs> which is kind of funny, because um, I'm not going to use it, probably. It's just funny that you can actually learn Dragon Rage as a TM, because it is a TM in Gen 1. You know, it does 40 damage, and 40 damage is actually quite a lot in this cup, because uh, these are very low-level Pokémon. So Dragon Rage is kind of a nuke button, kind of. Uh, so I'm probably not going to use it, I'm probably going to do Fire Blast mostly from, uh, from Cerberus. And then we have our Lapras with also Dragon Rage, and then Body Slam, Blizzard, and Zer uh, Zerf, actually, Surf. Um, probably not going to use Dragon Rage again, but just funny that I can learn it for this cup. Uh, and then we have the Chansey with Blizzard, Soft Boiled, Thunderbolt, and Bubble Beam. So uh, Gaia is going to be our second, so doesn't have... Uh, she has great special, as you can see, but she's kind of um, worse than the others in using these moves because she doesn't get stabbed, unfortunately. So she's just a backup in case one of the Pokémon I have uh, mainly um, go down. I can use Gaia for backup as well. Let's go back to uh, looking at our uh, our enemy here. Uh, so I'm not actually sure I should use Hypnos for this because he is slow and he is weak to poison and I think most of these guys actually all of them except Paris can use poison moves. So that's that's not a good idea. Uh, so I should probably start Hmm. Yeah, you know, I should I should start with uh, Cerberus for fire. I also have Dig on him, so I can use Dig on Ekans or Nidorina. Let's have uh, Hypnos in the back, um, and then I can wait. 
I didn't teach Guy any... No, I didn't. Didn't teach her any fire moves. I think she can use or learn fire blast as well, but I just chose not to use that or teach her that. Um, let's go with the Nido King, Aklas, because Nido King is poison type and he can be useful in that regard. Yeah, let's not let's not lose the first battle. <laughs> Underway, Pokemon Tournament Pika Cup. This is a tournament for passionate young up and coming Pokemon. All right, so up and coming Pokemon. That's uh, as he said. So we have a um, Venonat as our first Pokemon. Shouldn't be too problematic as long as we hit our Fire Blast. Arcanine is fairly fast, so shouldn't be a problem in that regard either. Fire do we hit? We do. Ooh, got a critical hit as well. Yeah, I don't think the crit was needed. Uh, that was probably overkill. But I'll take it. Yeah, it's a wild one from the word go, huh? Nidorina. Okay, so How will the type difference affect that? we are low level, so the difference between stats isn't that high. But I'm pretty sure I'm remembering that Arcanine has pretty high attack as well as special attack. I think his attack is supposed to be higher in the long run. So Dig is probably going to be a good idea here. Let's go Dig. Looks so weird in this game when you dig. Tackle. Okay, that's the best thing you can do. What now? Unless you predicted my tack, uh, my uh, my dig, of course, and just used something random. Could have done that. They do that sometimes. Oh, another crit! Wow. Is Cerberus the new crit machine? All right. And Kakuna. Yeah, that's probably the least scary Pokemon I could have chosen for this last Pokemon. There we go. Can we hit another Fire Blast? That's the question. Let's see. Kakuni. Nope, missed. That's fine. It's gonna use Poison Sting. Yeah, that's what I thought. It's not gonna poison me. That's two damage. Wow. Oof. Yeah. I just hope we have enough Fire Blast to take him down. Unless we miss every Fire Blast from now on. That would be bad. There we go. Don't think I need a crit. Nope. It's a one -hit wonder. It was an ugly colored Kakuna as well. There we go. We win the first battle. No sweat. Yeah, this team is pretty good. I could have chosen better Pokemon, obviously, but I just wanted a little bit of challenge. And this is round one, so the uh, trainers usually aren't that strong in, in uh, round one. Round two, however, that's that's a lot harder. Looks like a uh, lad, what we would have called a youngster in the uh, in the Game Boy games. Okay, so he's got a lot of flying types, um, as well as a Geodude, in, an Ivysaur, and a Bell Sprout. Hmm, that's an interesting team. Um, looks like a very good team for an Electric type, at least for three of them. If he goes for the, the Geodude, though, that is not good. Hmm. You know what? Maybe I should actually go with the Lapras, because Lapras can use Ice moves and Water moves, which will all be good against these guys. So let's go for Skilla. And then let's also bring... Hmm. For Fiery Coverage, let's bring Cerberus again. And then maybe I should also bring... The, um, my psychic type, maybe? Uh, Hypnos, because he can take down the poison types as well as the Geodude. So let's, let's do that. Yup. Don't think I'll lose this battle. I, I highly doubt it. Kind of battle can we expect to see? Begin round two. Okay, starts with Bellsprout. That's not the best, um, matchup for me. But if I can hit this blizzard, then I'm fine. I think I'm faster than Bellsprout. Yep, I am. Please hit, 90% chance. Yep, we got him. Can we kill him though? Yes. Yeah, Lapras is very high special, so I wasn't I wasn't super uh, surprised by that. Next up is Pidgeotto, okay. Or Pidgeotto, as he says. Looks like another blizzard. 
Yeah, I could have chosen to have Ice Beam, but I mean, 90% accuracy and much stronger move. Oh, I'm faster than Pidgeotto. Oh, okay. I thought I would be slower than him, but okay. There we go. Yep. Bye-bye. Next up is Geodude, okay. Yeah. So as an ice type, he can use rock type moves, which would be super effective against me. But I don't think he'll be able to hit me because I'm faster than a Geodude, that's for sure. Surf is gonna annihilate him. That's the weak spot indeed. Yeah, Geodude is not a huge problem. Go. Second battle done already. It's only been 16 minutes of recording, so it's a good sign. All right, go. Oh, looks like a swimmer, dude. He's got a lot of water types, obviously. Yeah. So this is the perfect opportunity for our Raichu to make its uh, debut. Mm, do I have any electric type moves on Gaia? I think I do, right? Uh, yeah, I've got Thunderbolt on her, so let's put her up. It's a little bit scary if he has any physical attacks. Um, I'm thinking Pokemon like Nidorino and Wartortle and Poliwhirl probably have some physical moves, because Gaia's defenses are paper thin. You can see she's got nine defense. That's nothing. Um, and then she has 44 special, which is pretty high for this low level. And obviously, of course, very high uh, HP as well, 116 for level 17. That's very, very high. Um, but in case of Nidorino, let's also bring Hypnos as well for the psychic coverage. And I mean, he's also good. Hmm, wait, actually, he's actually good for all of them because he is psychic and grass. But uh, yeah, I think... I think uh, Raichu's gonna get this a little bit easier because Thunderbolt is stronger than Mega Drain. Indeed. Holy War, okay. Let's get him out of the way first. Good thing. Let's get Thunderbolt. Okay, yeah, I'm faster. That's, that's what I thought. Raichu is very fast. Christ, Thunderbolt! That's what he says. I think. That's what it sounds like. It says. I, I don't think that's what he says, but it sounds like he says, "Christ." I'm gonna run able to find out what he says. Oh, that's Nidorino. The question is, does Nidorino have Dig? Because I don't think he can use Earthquake. But does he have Dig? Because if he does, then I'll just switch out, obviously. But let's go for a Thunderbolt first. Maybe I'll uh, crit and get him. No crit though. That's a lot of damage. Okay, so he got a horn attack. That's fine. Ooh, crit. Don't. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, I was a little bit worried that when I saw it was a crit, but um, yep. Astrid can uh, take this. Come on. There we go. We need a reamer. There's a difference in the number Need of Reamer, no more. Pokemon. Last Pokemon has to be a Water type then. That's War Turtle. Oh, okay. He's gonna go down one. from one Thunderbolt, that's what I'm thinking. Come on, let's go. Another clean sweep. Oh, critical hit. Yeah, that I needed that crit, but I'll take it. Yeah, we're just flying through these battles now. There we go. Another perfect continue. Nice. Yeah, looks like we're gonna get through all the battles in this episode. There's no reason to cut this into two parts. That's a burglar, I think. Yep. I thought maybe it would be called Thief, but no, it's a burglar. It's got a nine tails. okay. So it's got uh, almost exclusively Pokemon that are weak against water, apart from the Drowsy. 
So I think it's very obviously time for Skilla to start off again. Um, I could also use some ground with my Nido King, so let's use him as well. And then the last Pokemon should be something good against the Drowsy in case he comes in. And I think I'm, I'm thinking Gaia because uh, she can take the um, the special moves. I'm not sure if Drowsy has any physical moves. He might have, but uh, I'm willing to take the risk. Let's go. The crowd excitement is building. Yep. This is round four. Oh, starts off with Growlithe. That's completely fine. Not sure if I'm faster than Growlithe though, but that's uh, only one way to find out. Is we're the same level as well. Yep, I'm faster. Good. I don't Run think Growlithe has a chance of surviving this. Whoa, looks like a bad Pokemon nope. Down he goes. Down the word go. Aww, poor puppy. This is a wild one from the word go. I love the, the little picture of him there. So cute. Oh, that's the uh, Nine Tails. Okay, that's probably the scariest Pokemon he has. It could it could uh, hit me with Fire Spin or something, but oh, Body Slam. Okay, that's fine. Don't paralyze me though. No paralysis. Good. Yeah, Lapras has good defense as well, which makes Lapras the perfect Water type for this cup. It might survive a Surf. Yeah. There's a high special. We know how good. Um, how good Nine Tails is, because we do have one ourselves. Body slam, don't paralyze me, please. Okay, critical hit. That's better than paralysis, actually. I'm, I'm, I'll take that. Let's take it out with the scariest Pokemon on his team, the Nine Tails. There we go. Yeah, that's how good Nine Tails is. She can take a Surf to the face from a Lapras, which is a pretty high level or high power move. Oh, Charmeleon. Charmeleon. That's a weird weird color for Charmeleon. I like the eyes being purple, but the uh, the body the is has, has a really time. weird color like a uh, what what is that? Like a faded orange reddish? That's a weird color, okay. Is he faster than me? He is. Ember, okay. <laughs> oh, it's pretty good. I am an ice type after all, but High, high special saves me. Charmelar. There you go. Another clean sweep. There it goes. He didn't even choose Drowsy. He chose exclusively the fire types. Hmm. That's not a good, good thing to do. Too many weaknesses, dude. There we go, let's continue and do all the other battles as well. That's... what is he called in this game? Mr. Fix, okay. Yeah, because he's an engineer in the uh, Game Boy games, but he is your Mr. Fix, so alright. Wait, what are, what are these names? Vol... Volchian? Vol... Volchian? Mitesian? Porisian? Parisian. Is it... He's, an, he's a Parisian. Oh, he's got a Raichu as well. I'm really hoping this Raichu doesn't have Surf, because that's going to be a problem if that's the case. Um, so what, should I, what I usually usually do when I see a team with a lot of electric types is that I don't choose the ground type as my first Pokemon, but if he goes for a, an electric type at the start, uh, then I'm going to choose to switch into the ground type after the fact, because then he's just going to waste a turn using electric type move. Um, so let's prepare for the other three instead. Uh, the Mankey and the Kingler are both weak to Hypnos. So let's actually start with Executor Hypnos. And then also, of course, bring the Nidoking, Eklis, in the back, because there is a high chance that he'll bring at least one Electric type. I highly doubt that he doesn't bring any of them. And then in the back, I don't really have anything good against Porygon, because normal types, dude. Um, I don't have any fighting type moves either. I tend not to use fighting types in my teams. But um, let's... Um, hmm, yeah, Gaia is not a choice, unfortunately, because Porygon is normal type, and normal type moves are all physical in this game. So I should probably bring something I can also take care of the other two. 
Um, let's go with... Yeah, let's just go with Cerberus, maybe. The Kingler is a little scary, but, um... Yeah, I think... I think Cerberus is a good backup. Actually, yeah, let's go with that. If I lose, I have continues. It's not a big problem. In the last half of the tournament, things will get white hot. Begin round five. Okay. Kingler's first. That's interesting. All right. Um, so should I... I don't think I should chance the solar beam. I could go uh, the substitute, though, and then solar beam, but, um... Let's just go Mega Drain. Kingler is ass special. He's faster than me, you know? He's gonna paralyze me, probably. Yep. But I'm already so slow, so... I don't think it's a problem. And I can also get my health back with Mega Drain. Okay, I need another one, but that's fine. There we go. Let's go for another Mega Drain. Another Body Slam. What now? Kingler has very high attack. A very low special in Gen 1. So that means Kingler is down and out. I'm really hoping for an electric type now, because then I can just switch over to Actus and get a free turn. I wonder. Maybe Porygon. Yeah, it's Porygon. Okay, what can I do against Porygon though? Yeah, now I should definitely not chance the Zolar Beam because of um, the paralysis. Let's just go for a Psychic and see if I can lower his special. What is he gonna do though? Ice Beam. Okay, so he can't freeze me at least, but that's gonna be super effective. Alright. Don't paralyze. Okay, good. Get a special drop, please. Yes, perfect. Okay, so I'm... I'm very sorry, but Kingler was the only Pokémon, I guess, Mankey as well. Uh, we're the only Pokémon that I needed Executor for, so I'm going to uh, sack him for the sake of um, of not losing health on other, my other Pokémon. I'm sorry, Hypnos. It was a necessary thing to do. Sometimes you just have to sacrifice your Pokémon. But now, it's level 18 though, I didn't see that until now. Uh, so now I can go into, let's go into Cerberus actually, because Cerberus is faster than uh, Porygon. And he's got a special drop too now. It's Arcanine. <laughs> okay. okay, so now we can do Fire Blast, probably, or I hope, I'm hoping that I'm gonna hit. I'm definitely gonna take him down, that's for sure. Yes, perfect. There we go, Porygon is out. Now I'm hoping for a um, for an electric type, but even if it's if it is Mankey, then you know Mankey's not going to be a huge problem anyway. Okay, Magnemite. Well, I do have Dig though. Yeah, you know what? Let's just um, give Aklis the um, the honor of taking down the Magnemite. He's probably going to go for either Thunder Wave or Thunder Bolt. I'm thinking. Yeah, Thunder Wave. Usually goes for that. It's a good move, but I'm immune. It did. Alright, let's go for an Earthquake. Magnemite is not going to survive an Earthquake. He's going to be for... Oh, I'm faster. Okay, yeah. I, sh I should have known. The Unicorn is actually quite a, uh, kind of fast. There we go. Yeah. Didn't get a continue this time, but that's fine. I have so many of them now that I don't probably don't need any more. <laughs> Mr. Fix. Huge double we and double double we double you. Double we. Double we double you. Who's next? It's a hiker. Is he called hiker in this game? He is. Alright, so he's got a very diverse team, actually. Um, Rhyhorn is the only one that's weak against Surf. Seedra uh, is the only one weak against Electric. Uh, Psychic, two Pokemon are weak against Psychic. And I mean, Hypnos is also good against Rhyhorn. So uh, uh, Hypnos is actually good against the Ghastly, 
and the Kingdras, uh, or the Seedra as well, and the Matchup, and the Rhyhorn. So four of the four Pokemon are weak against Hypnos. So you should probably start with, with Hypnos. What to bring for the Wigglytuff, though, and the Kadabra? Kadabra is a huge problem, actually, um, because he's got high special, obviously. I should probably bring the Raichu because of Thunder Wave, so I can cripple him and make him slower, because Kadabra is fast. So in case I go down, I can just use a slower Pokemon to take him down. And also, let's bring uh, Cerberus or Skilla, one of them. Wait, does Skilla have any... Um... Yeah, she's got Body Slam. And she's got very good attack as well. You know what? Let's actually go for Skilla as our third. So in case of Kadabra, I'm gonna switch into the Raichu and use uh, Thunder Wave. It's a good strategy. We're into round six. Okay. Wigglytuff is first. That's not what I was hoping for, but okay. Um, what can I do? I think I'm faster than Wigglytuff, right? Let's, uh, let's actually be annoying and go for a substitute. I think I'm faster. I am faster. Good. What can I do? Reflect. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, you wasted your turn there because I'm a I'm a physical or I'm a special attacker. Uh, let's go for a uh, solar beam then. I think solar beam is stronger than a psychic in terms of base power at least. So I'm I'm guaranteed one hit with solar beam now. Make a kick. What now? Okay, substitute broke. I was hoping she would miss. Neither one is conceding an inch. Mm hmm. Well, 15 out of 17, so. What? Okay, that's uh, very good damage. Can probably take him or take her down with the psychic next turn. What that? Didn't miss, okay. That yeah, was a good hit, too, I guess. I can take one more of those, but it's gonna go down from a psychic now. So a little uh, low health a left, psychic. or little health left. Go. Nice. Oh, is it down and out? So please use the Seedra so that I can get some health back with Mega Drain. That would be nice. Let's see. Okay, it's the Rhyhorn. That's that's equally... That's actually better because the Rhyhorn is going to go down from one Mega Drain. What is your strategy? Why did you choose Rhyhorn? What do you have in the back then? Okay, little Mega Drain. Yeah, Ron is... There's no way Ron is faster than Executor. Go. <laughs> Almost back to full health. <laughs> Perfect. That was the per Why did you choose Rhyhorn? What do you have in the back? What are you doing? Oh. Yeah, you should have used Seedra instead because that's actually better, a better choice. Um, Alright. Do you have Ice Beam? That's the question. Let's get, just go for Mega Drain and see what happens. Okay, double edge. That's not scary. What do I do? Double edge from a Cedra? Wow, that's sad. You should have taught it an ice move, like Blizzard or Ice Beam. I probably need two of those. Yep. That's what I thought. Mega Drain is such a low level or low base power move. It's only 40 base power in Gen 1. I think it's actually 40 base power in all gens. But Giga Drain is 60. Or is it 75? I can't remember right now. But Giga Drain doesn't exist in Gen 1, so. Yeah. Here's what I said earlier uh, the grass types got the short and the stick, too. Just like the poison types did. At least in terms of moves that were good in Gen 1. Go. Another continue for us. Nice. We've only lost one Pokemon throughout this whole um, this whole cup so far. Yeah, we have five continues out of six battles. But this is where the uh, battles are going to get hard, I think. Yeah, the last. Look at that team. Oof. Okay. Uh, Gyarados uh, and Tentacruel both have high special. Actually, yeah. Uh, so in Gen 1, there is no guarantee that it will kill a Gyarados with an electric type move, because Gyarados has actually uh, does actually have decent special in Gen 1. But looking at this team. I'm pretty sure that starting off with Raichu is the best choice. Um, 
But for the other three, though, uh, Mr. Mime is a problem, because, you know, psychic type, obviously. He's got bad uh, defense, but high special. So if he starts off with that, I'm gonna go Thunder Wave immediately. The Arcanine is uh, going to be countered by my Aklis, I think. Um, Skill has a good choice as well, but she's a, f uh, she's a um, she's an Ice type, so maybe Earthquake is. Uh... Wait, actually, I can check. I can just check with my own Serp. Oh, oops, that's not the that's not the button I wanted to click. Um, let me just check with our own Cerberus. So he's got defense 32 and special 35. Okay, so defense is a little bit worse than special. That means uh, Aklis is a better choice uh, against him. That's what I was gonna check. So Earthquake is better than Surf in the long run. I don't know about this particular Arcanine stats though, but I'm gonna go with that. And then we have the Meowth, which is probably the least scary Pokemon on our team, honestly. Um, yeah, I can just bring whatever for the Meowth. Let's just bring Skill as well, just in uh, in the back. Because she is good, anyway. And, um, yeah. She can only bring either Gyarados or Tentacruel, because they're both level 20, so she can't bring them both in the same battle, because of the rules. This is it, the semi-final! No one wants to lose, having come this far! Nope, certainly not. Oh, that's uh, Mr. Mime. That's not what I want to see, but okay. That's uh, the time to use the Thunder Wave. Definitely. Let's get him. I need to save Astrid uh, for um, for the Water type Psychic. I'm gonna switch out anyway, so it doesn't matter. Yeah. Oh, look at that damage though. Oof, that's not good. That's not. Oh, that's the wrong button. Um. Okay, so I can't switch into Aklis, obviously, but Skilla is, uh, is the best choice. He's par paralyzed, so I'm just banking on him being stuck in paralysis. My Mr. Mime is not a good Pokemon to see. I don't want to see Mr. Mime. Definitely not. Psychic again. Don't lower my special. You fucker. God damn it. Well, at least I'm faster because of the paralysis, but, um... Yeah, so he's got better defense. I mean, the special, better special than defense. So let's go for a body slam because Lapras has decent attack. It's probably gonna take two. Oh, actually three. Oh no. Oh no. Yeah, this is not gonna be good. I might survive a certain psychic. I am good, but I'm not gonna survive another one unless I crit him, which is a very low chance because Lapras isn't that fast. Come on, please get a good crit. Come on. No. Be paralyzed, please. Paralyzed. Yes! Okay, that was perfect timing. Great. That was great luck for once. Alright, body slam. Slam that body! There we go! Look at that. Mr. Ami is down at Mimes or Mimes. Mimes. I wonder. Oh! Tentacruel, okay. Yeah. So unfortunately, I have to sack my uh, Lapras, but uh, yeah, it's gonna be faster than me for, for sure. Oh, it's gonna go surf, okay. It's a weird choice, but okay. It's a hit. I'm sorry. If it only didn't. Uh, if if only she didn't start off with Mr. Mime, that's the worst thing she could have chosen for the first Pokemon. So, that means she doesn't have Gyarados, because uh, she chose Tentacruel, oof. Alright, I might lose this battle actually, because uh, he's gonna survive a Thunderbolt because of high special. He's faster than me too, what? Really? I did not anticipate that. Oh, yeah, I'm losing. Because I only have Nido King in back and he's weak in surf. Okay. There's only one yeah, it's probably the level difference that got him to be faster than me. Because I, I, I was really sure that Raichu was faster than Tentacruel. I know Tentacruel is fast, but uh, faster than the uh, Raichu? Alright. 
Let's just try an earthquake, but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna go down from a surf. Yeah. There's no way I'm, I'm surviving this. Yeah. Okay, let's restart the battle then. Alright, new plan. Um... Oh, that's the wrong button again. Um... Should I start off with Gaia? Because Mr. Mom is a special attacker. Um, he could lower my special a lot, but I don't think that's a huge problem. Um, I didn't. I didn't anticipate Tentacle being faster than my Raichu. That's that's a huge problem, actually. Maybe I can start with Hypnos instead. I mean, he is a he is a poison type, so he isn't weak against grass. But at least I'm not weak against his moves, unless he has ice moves? Because I don't know if he does that. Hmm. Yeah. Let's uh, try the same thing again. Uh, the Raichu first, and then have Gaia in the back for the uh, water types, and, or, and also Mr. Mime as well. Um, Skilla wasn't the best choice. Um, I still think Aklis is a good choice against the Serp, or I mean the uh, the uh, the Arcanine, but um, let's go Aklis for the last one. Yeah, I can I can afford to lose a few times. I only lost once so far. This is it, the semi-final. Semi-final. Sure, certainly not. Oh, Mr. Mom again. Fuck you. Come on, please. Okay, let's do the exact same thing again. Thunder Wave. They strike fighting poses. To cripple him. Because then my guy can be faster. Oh, he's gonna get psychic. Don't lower my. Oh, doesn't really matter though, because I'm gonna switch out anyway. Look at that damage. Raichu is not very good when it comes to defense, that's for sure. Even though it is special. Uh, oh, that's the wrong uh, button. I'm gonna switch into Gaia. Not Aklis, that's for sure, because he's going to be weak against Psychic as well. Hmm. I wonder if it's a good idea to paralyze the Mr. Mime or, or not. I'm not really sure if it is. What now? Yeah, look at that damage. I also have Soft Boiled, so I can just keep, um, keep getting my health back. So what move is the best one? Probably Blizzard, right? Yeah, let's go for Blizzard. If I can hit, that is. Save the Thunderbolt for the uh, water types. Critical hit! That's perfect uh, Perfect timing. Great. Can just finish him off with a uh, bubble beam now. Special drop. It's not a good thing. Because that will affect my attack as well. Bubble beam. Can just finish him up with that. Go. It is down and out. Is the tentacle gonna make a return though? Oh, it's Arcana. Okay. Or Arcana. I'm sorry. Yeah, he's he's a physical attacker. So um, let's switch into Atlas. He's probably gonna go for Dig. I think. I don't think he's going to go for a fire attack. I'm thinking Dig. Which is also super effective against poison types, but um... Okay, so he's going to go for Fire Blast. Okay. Interesting. But he's going to miss. Perfect. Because I don't think I could take two of those. Let's go for an Earthquake. Oh, he's going to either switch or his Dig. He's going to eat Dig. Yeah, so in, in Gen 1, Dig doesn't hit you underground, unfortunately. Oops, yeah. In Stadium 2, that would have happened, but not in Stadium 1, I'm afraid. But uh, let's go for another Earthquake. He's going to hit me with Dig. I'm going to survive that, I'm pretty sure. I do have de decent defense. Yeah. I say decent. <laughs> I survived with 4 health. And he's over with five. Hmm, okay. I'm probably gonna sack Aklis then, because he is only here to kill the uh, the Arcanine, so... You know. That's what I need him for. Gonna for Dig again. I don't have any flying types to, um, 
to uh, switch into, so that wouldn't have helped. If only Earthquake would hit you underground in this game, I would have went, I would have won easily. Yeah, let's just go body slam. Doesn't really matter. It, I, I can't hit him anyway. He's gonna take me down. It's, it can't. It can't miss. Oh, critical hit just to rub it in, huh? Yeah, the Gen One miss uh, glitch is not present in Stadium. I almost said unfortunately, but uh, that's actually a good thing. Okay, I think Raichu is faster than Arcanine, right? I'm really hoping. Because uh, Gaia cannot take down this uh, Arcanine. I am one level higher than him too. Yes, I'm, g I'm faster. Good. So what is the last Pokemon? I'm hoping it's Gyarados. Because uh, Gyarados is weaker against electric type moves than Tentacruel. And that Pokemon depends, or that depends on the battle. Meowth. Okay. It's Meowth. All right. The remaining Pokemon so, interesting. Um, should I Thunder Wave for Gaia's sake? Because Meowth is a physical attacker. Hmm. Yeah, let's shoot for Thunderbolt. I'm faster, that's for sure, but uh, Meowth's going to be faster than Gaia. What can he do to me, though? Bite. Okay, I think I'm, I'm, think I'm fine. What's that? Yeah, that's what I thought. We didn't choose any water type this time. Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. I'm very happy she didn't do that though. Because I would have lost if Tentacruel was coming back out, I think. Maybe Gaia could have taken him down, maybe, but uh, Meowth was a better choice. That's the least scary Pokemon she had on her team. Good job. Only one battle left. All right, let's go. And that's a fisherman. Is it just called Fisher in this game? Yeah, that's what I thought. Fisher, Mr. Fisher. Okay, so he's got only two, oh, three water types. Um, Broish, what? Tit Titcatish, Goldish, Fablish, Nairish, and Coolish. Okay, well. He's got a Tentacool instead of Tentacruel, so that's not scary. Um, I'm thinking maybe I'm going to start off with my Raichu again for the water types. I'm definitely going to bring Skilla for the uh, Dragonair. He can only choose to bring either Dragonair or Raticate. He can't bring both because they're level 18. So it's higher than the maximum. If they were 17, both of them, then they could have chosen both in the same, uh, the same time. Can't really do much against the Clefable or the Raticate. Not really afraid of Raticate. Raticate is bad, but Clefable is decent actually. I can learn a lot of decent, uh, different moves as well that are scary. But um, let's start off with the Raichu for the water types. If right, I mean the uh, Dragonair comes in, then I'm going to bring Skilla as well. And the last Pokemon. Hmm. What should I bring? Um. I, can, I should probably bring, uh, not Gaia because of the, the normal types, but um, could I bring, um, Cerberus is a bad choice too because of the water types, uh, and Aklas <laughs> is also a bad choice. Let's go Hypnos then. Yeah, Psychic is a good choice either way. Psychic is, is decent against dragon types. It's not super effective, but it is neutral at least, which is more than it can say for most of the types against dragons. This is it, the final battle! Who will bask in the glory of the championship? Slowbro, alright. Yeah, he's definitely gonna take at least one Thunderbolt, because he has got decent special. Slowbro is a really good Pokemon in Gen 1. Oh, he's got paralyzed. Psychic, yeah. Don't lower my special, please. Fuck it. Ugh. That, that's not good. Not good at all. They'll just switch out after this. Depending on what Pokemon he chooses, of course. There we go. That was easy enough. 
If it only if you weren't for the special drop, the then it would have been perfect. Maybe I'll uh, Thunder Wave if it is Dragonair. Fablish? Oh, it's the Fable, okay. Maybe I'll Thunder Wave anyway. Yeah, let's just Thunder Wave it. Let's do it. Thunder Wave. Boom. It's always a good thing to do. Browse is a very good status effect. It's double edge, I'm gonna die. Oh, one HP! Alright. Is it worth switching? Probably not. Um, let's just go for a Thunderbolt to do some damage. Maybe I'm very lucky and she's gonna be, uh, or it's gonna be paralyzed. Nope. Or I mean, I don't know that yet. Oh. No, that was very bad damage as well. Oh, critical hit for the one HP. Yeah, that's fine. That's alright. Um, what should I bring in though? That's the question. Um, let's go with... Let's go with Hypnos, because I want to save Skilla for the Dragonair that I'm pretty sure is coming. Oh, executor. executor, as he says. Are type. They are. Okay, let's go for a Psychic first. Now. So Clefable has decent special, so Watch I was just going to take it a sec pretty that well, I think. Yep. Hyper Beam? Alright. Oh, that's, that did a lot of damage, actually, too. But, um... I can be annoying and use a substitute now. Let's do that. So that I'm ready for the next Pokémon. Whatever it is. You can't do anything now. You cannot. Just, uh, finish it up with a Mega Drain. I don't think I'll get any health back, because it, I'm... I'm Wow, you, you don't get any health back when you there, defeat the Pokemon with the move, unfortunately, but... Could use a second. Doesn't matter. I got him. That Pokemon is probably gonna be Dragonair, right? Oh, no, it's Raticate. Oh, okay. That's fine. The remaining Pokemon stock is two to one. What can Raticate do? He's probably gonna be faster, but uh, what can he do? Hyper Fang. Miss. Please miss. Oh, okay. Oh. Yep. Psychic though. Critical hit. Yeah, he's dead. I win. <laughs> there we go. Yes. Perfect. Woo. Yes. Yeah. It's us. We're the champions. We are the champions. There we go. All the badges. And now we can see our th our team. A great team for this cup. Only lost once, one battle. Look at that. That's our guys. And gals, I guess. Even though they they don't have genders in this game or in, in this gen. There we go. Trophy is ours. Ours. Alright, so now if we go back into the stadium, we can see that we have completed both the Pika Cup and the Petite Cup. Perfect. So those are the only two cups that have only one trophy. The other two cups have four trophies each. So we have eight more trophies to collect in the stadium, as well as collecting um, collecting the badges, or there aren't really badges in this game, but you can get a key for each gym leader that you defeat in the gym leader castle, you get a key to open up the next tower with the next gym leader in it. Um, so that was actually pretty good. Good work, guys. Yes, so... With that, I'm going to end the episode right here. I really hope you enjoyed this episode of Pokemon Stadium 1. 
and I do hope that you will join me in the next episode of Pokemon Stadium 1 as well, where we finally have a team ready for the uh, level 50 cup, as well as the Gym Leader Castle with our main team from Pokemon Yellow. And if you want to see our journey through Pokemon Yellow, then you can check that out as well, because we are uh, at level, or at level, and we are at um, episode 13 currently uh, as of the release of this video and more Pokemon Yellow and Pokemon Stadium 1 videos are coming your way in the very near future as soon as I get the uh, time to edit these videos. But thank you so much for watching and bye bye for now. <laughs>